Thank you, Mr. <clears throat> Chairman. Thank you for holding this hearing. Um, Mr. DeMarco, I wanted to shift gears a little bit while we have you here today to ask you the property assessed clean energy, the PACE program, which, as you know, um, Colorado actually was a leader in implementing that program uh, before the FHFA halted it in 2010, I think, because of concerns about second lien status. Do you, are you familiar with what, what I'm talking about? Uh, I am, Senator. Um, the, the, the puzzle that I have is that there are, I think, 37,000 special assessment districts in the United States, including many that are similar to PACE districts. They have different purposes, but there are, for example, septic tank remediation districts, geologic hazard abatement districts, and others that are similar in many ways to PACE, although the, what we liked about PACE in Colorado was that we were actually seeing um, substantial retrofits and, and job creation as a result, and just as in these other programs, Property owners can voluntarily opt into them or out of them. The assessments are a similar size and duration to PACE districts. So I wonder, I'd like to get to a place, and as you know, have some draft legislation to do it, to a place where a program that seemed to make all the sense in the world can actually go forward, but that you are reassured that mm -hmm. um, your position is what you need it to be. And I wonder in that spirit whether you talk a little bit about where the FHFA is and where we might be able to go together to try to get this program moving again. Certainly, thank you, Senator. Um, you know, the, 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 the general goal of PACE programs in Colorado and, and around the country are certainly laudable. They're designed to enhance, to, to provide financing for energy retrofits for an aging housing stock so that we become more energy efficient as a country um, and uh, can reduce costs to homeowners of, uh, of energy expense over time. The challenge that FHFA saw with regard to the PACE program as it was emerging was that it made a material change in the credit risk exposure of the first mortgage after that first mortgage had been made. Because the way the PACE was structured is that this was a sizable um, uh, advance, essentially a loan to a, to a homeowner, to uh, make an, uh, a, a home improvement to the house, but normally that's done in a second lien position by using the tax status of the local jurisdiction. It was taking this home improvement loan and making it uh, something that came in advance of the first mortgage. And so the first mortgage holder who had priced the credit risk on this transaction at the time the loan was made was suddenly being put in a subordinate position. And this really is not like normal um, uh, tax assessment jurisdictions here because it is really designed for the benefit of a particular dwelling. It is, um, it is uh, oftentimes these things is normally done or not voluntary and they're not nearly the same dollar amount or duration as these, uh, as these PACE loans are. We also, when, when this first emerged, raised concerns with a number of the jurisdictions doing it regarding consumer protections and disclosures regarding the cost of these programs. I really do look forward to working with you because I think that the principle of energy retrofits and these sorts of home improvements have a lot of positive elements to it, but I think that the financing structure for that is better done in a, in a traditional way of, of being subordinate to the first mortgage that has already been in place. Well, I'd, lo I'd like to take you up on your offer to work on it because I think there is, both with respect to PACE and some other work that Johnny Isaacson and I, or Senator Isaacson and I are doing on something called the SAVE Act, huge opportunity here if we can think about how to do the financings mm -hmm. because the upfront costs that people have, which we then know can be paid back if, if, we, do, if we do the math properly and prudently, um, among other things, will make us more energy efficient, but also give the 25% of people in the trades who are unemployed something to do before this housing market actually comes back. So I hope that um, we could look at this with some urgency and try to figure out how to get it done. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yeah.